what is going on guys? Today we have a double Power Rangers unboxing. Two for the price of one. Let's go. Okay, let's get into the first box. So first up, it's kind of funny really because both of these items in these boxes are basically the same thing, but they're slightly different in terms of condition and all that stuff. As you can see, if we just pull this one out, we have some of the parts right here to the Stratoforce Megazord. And here we go. I believe, I'm not entirely sure if both of these are complete. I think one of them's missing like a couple of things maybe, or I'm not entirely sure, but <laughs> I guess we'll find out. So, yes, here we go with the Stratoforce Megazord. Really cool, I love this design. I had the very small figure size one as a kid and it's always been one of my favorite Megazords um, just because I thought it was such a cool design in the show. The Stratoforce and the Centaurus, both really cool Power Rangers Lost Galaxy Megazords and yeah, I had both of them as a kid in the tiny little figure form. Um, but I never actually had like the full size versions. Um, so this is really cool to actually have the big one as well. I have no clue how to undo and transform all of these different pieces because they transform into like separate little kind of spaceship kind of looking things. Um, so I can kind of demonstrate sort of with this one. As you can see, um, it's got <laughs> some broken and missing pieces. Um, so that's kind of a shame with some of these parts. As you can see, if you can pull out this one, this one has both of the wings, which is really cool. And then you fold this down and it makes like the cockpit or, you know, the pilot's area for the ship. So really awesome. So that's that one. And then this one does the similar sort of thing, except from this one, as you can see, it has this kind of covering piece. So yeah, this one is supposed to have this as well, but it appears to be missing, unfortunately, on this one. So yeah, there are some missing pieces, as you can see. Um, this one also, I think, is supposed to have some sort of chest piece that goes on here. I'm not sure if it's in this box or not. Let's have a I think this is actually missing a bunch of pieces, but the items this one did come with, though, is this actual weapon piece. It's got a little bit of wear and stuff to it. This one in this box is uh, the Stratoforce as well, and it should be mostly complete, but I think it was missing the weapon, and I think it was also missing this piece. So, so this is the main kind of headpiece, um, and this kind of slots over the top of this. So yeah, the headpiece kind of goes over the top of this, as you can see, like so but I'm not gonna be using it on this one because this one is missing so many pieces, but these are like all of these spare pieces that this came with to make a full complete one, hopefully, with the parts from this one. I just realized there are actually some other things inside of here as well. Um, not entirely sure exactly what, but apparently there's some other things. Oh, this is really cool. I just, I honestly completely forgot that this was even in here. But this is awesome. Look how massive this figure is. This is crazy. Really cool. So, yeah, I've <laughs> just taken a quick look at this figure. This is really, like, it's kind of hard to even call it a figure because it's just like one kind of solid piece. The arms move, so you have some arm movement there and a little bit of head movement, but that is mainly because if you, I'm not sure how this works, but you can sort of flip the head around, but I'm not entirely sure how it works. Okay, so I was quickly trying to just see how this works because I know that this is kind of like a flip head figure, but it's obviously a massive version. I mean, look at the size of this compared to like, this is the deluxe version of the Stratoforce. So <laughs> yeah, this is a massive figure. If you take these pieces off of the bottom of the feet, you can actually see that it does take batteries. So I'm going to see if I can find some batteries lying around and uh, attempt to try this out. I'll be right back.
But this is really cool because I did not have this figure. I mean, you can just see how big this is. It kind of... <laughs> it's massive. So, yeah. Right here, really cool. Have the Trans Dagger and we have the Quasar Saber. A very bent Quasar Saber. I can definitely heat this up and then put something flat on it and then just leave it to retain its original shape because right now this <laughs> he's not going to be fighting any bad guys with this very easily anyway so <laughs> there we go we're going to give you your very bent quasar saber and the trans dagger so ready for battle and i think there's one thing left in here there is yes okay so we have another morpher so this is really cool so we have the lost galaxy trans morpher so there we go to complete the lost galaxy theme right here definitely one of my favorite seasons of all time so i cannot complain about getting more power rangers lost galaxy morphers and figures and all sorts of stuff because just one of the things that i grew up with and i loved so much as a kid so let's get in to the final box go galactic okay so let's move some things around a little bit make a little bit of space <laughs> attempt to anyway got so much stuff around but there we go yeah we're gonna get into this final box packaging material let's get this out of the way as I just chuck all of this packaging across my room the first piece this is awesome this is actually the chest piece that is actually supposed to go on here that's one of the zords as we can see awesome stuff other zords out of the way because this one is not complete so we want to focus on one that actually does have at least most of the pieces so the first one right there so really cool and another one we have which is this one has these little pieces that kind of fold out so there we go another one of these little zords right there going to kind of pull out all of these pieces and then attempt to put it all together pretty cool so yeah this one kind of push that into there and then that forms this piece like i said i'm not a hundred percent sure if this one is totally complete hopefully between the two we can make one full complete stratoforce megazord so that would be great One of these feet pieces, awesome. And this one looks like it's mostly complete actually. This one does look much better than the other one, so already I think we're on to a winner. So yeah, fingers crossed we can at least make one full complete Stratoforce. Next piece, and this one also is looking complete, so pretty happy, so far so good. Okay, I think that's it, yeah, awesome. Okay, so this one is complete there is some you know damage and some of these parts are kind of you know a little bit faded and some of the paints coming off but at least we do have most of the pieces right here so this one as you can see to transform it all we need to do is push the head up like so a bit stiff but there we go be very careful because these are kind of old so not entirely sure how all of these pieces fold out and all that stuff but yeah we're gonna try our best there we go we can kind of pull out these pieces there we go kind of gives us our hands and arms just clip back in like so kind of forms the body and we also have this piece but we'll, we'll put that bit on in a second and we also have this which these pieces fold in very simple <laughs> and then I believe it should and then it should clip in like so like that really cool so already we're getting there <laughs> and then we have one of these feet pieces I'm not entirely sure which side these go on so I might mess this up um, I have to check later which side goes on which but I'm just gonna Put these in quickly just to demonstrate anyway so these pieces fold in and like that and then this clips in to there 
I really like the asymmetrical design of the legs. I think it just adds a little bit more character to this Megazord. And then this piece kind of goes like that. So it kind of separates and just like hangs like that. And then kind of just fold this over the top and then it should clip in like so. And then that forms the main Stratoforce Megazord. Definitely a really cool Megazord and yeah, a shame about this piece having some paint and stuff messed up on it. But I think I might just go over this where the gold has come off and just touch it up with some gold paint. Um, just because, you know, I can't leave it like that. I have to have it a little bit better anyway. But apart from that, everything else is looking really nice. So most of the stickers and stuff are there. Most of the stickers are still there. So that's still good. And like I said, I really do love the design of this Megazord. Um, stands up pretty well. And we can even give it the main <laughs> headpiece as well. The headpiece and the weapon are two of the main pieces that always are missing on this particular Megazord. So I'm happy to actually have those. There we go. That stays on this particular Megazord's head pretty well, so that's good. Awesome stuff. The weapon itself. It's kind of like a boomerang weapon um, in the show. So fold these pieces in. And then, yeah, there we go with the boomerang weapon. Really awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy to have this Megazord. And I do actually have somewhere in my collection that I haven't that I haven't got around to doing the video on it yet. Um, I have the other one of these as well, the Centaurus. Um, and I think, if I remember correctly, I think it's boxed as well. It actually has a complete box and everything. I haven't got around to unboxing it yet because it's somewhere stored away. So I'll have to try and find it and do a video on that soon. So yeah, really awesome. And then once I've got that, I'll be able to kind of have them next to each other on display pretty awesome so yeah there we go we actually do have a full complete Stratoforce Megazord yeah there we go so we do actually have another Megazord right there but this one as you can see is missing some pieces so but yeah I'll, I'll see what I can do with this one see if I can find some extra pieces or something um, who knows <laughs> but yeah maybe in the future this will be a giveaway um, we will see I guess but yeah, there we go, some awesome Power Rangers Lost Galaxy stuff today. Two Megazords, well, one's fully complete, and then we have this one right here for kind of... It's mostly there, honestly. It's just missing some little pieces here and there, so yeah. We'll see what we can do with that one. We have a Transmorpher from Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, and this awesome Red Ranger giant flip head figure. Literally as big as a Megazord. Kind of crazy. <laughs> but I love it anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it please remember to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and stay tuned plenty more Power Rangers unboxings reviews and so much more is still to come in the future thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one go galactic by watching videos, leaving comments and all that good stuff really helps me out. But if you would like to help support the channel even more, feel free to become a Patreon member, helping me to bring you even more content. You can also give as much or as little as you like. And also as a paid member, you will get your name in the end credits of my videos. In any case, just by watching and being part of Team Tommy Dragon, I am just so grateful. You know what time it is. It's Morphin Time.